There was some exciting news announced this weekend during the middle of the AWC tournament. No, it wasn't that c was playing a wizard, Cleave. It was the announcement that MMR is finally getting fixed. In a forum post, Blizzard said that MMR gains will be significantly increased during the week of June 20th. So we'd like to give a special shout out to Twitch chat for fixing the game. Anyway, we've seen some big changes in the meta since our last update, and today we're here to break everything down. Just like before, we will be giving you three suggestions for each role, including a bonus sleeper pick, which might be worth the long-term investment. But before we start, we have a special offer just for you. If you sign up to Skill Capped Infinity Plus before June 21st, you can get a guaranteed VOD review for every month during the first year of your subscription, which is insane value for only a fraction of what you would pay anywhere else. Last season, a single VOD review from Big Max is all it took for one of our users to climb over 400 rating to 2800 in solo shuffle. And after getting three VOD reviews, we saw a healer go from being hard stuck at rival ratings to the top 50 rest of druids in all of EU. Of course, Scalecap members also get instant access to hundreds of site-exclusive PvP guides designed alongside the world's best players. This and more is why Skillcapped is the only place that guarantees you will gain rating while using our guides, and if you don't, you shouldn't pay. Sign up using the links below to get started with an exclusive discount offer and get free VOD reviews every month for a limited time. Anyway, back to the video. Last time on the melee side, we suggested Sub Rogue, Demon Hunter, and Arms Warrior as good bets, and Rhett Paladin as Sleeper OP. For now, we will be making some slight changes. Don't get us wrong, Arms and Red are still good, but we think there might be some better options. Replacing Arms Warrior will be Enhancement Shaman. We initially predicted that Enhance might fall off slightly after a big set of nerfs targeting their burst damage, but instead, Enhancement mains have simply adapted with a new meta build. Previously, both Lava Lash and Storm Strike loadouts were seeing play, but the Lava Lash build was hit the hardest with nerfs, so Shamans are back to mashing Storm Strike. If you are a 3v3 player or a solo shuffle enthusiast, then Enhancement will still be a really good bet. With the meta seeming to still favor casters, Enhance is arguably one of the safest melee to play given its wide array of anti-caster tech. Right now in both regions, but especially in Europe, Enhance is seeing fairly high representation in solo shuffle, even as a spec which historically isn't that popular. If you are a 2v2 fan, you might want to stick to Warrior, but for every other bracket, Enhancement Shaman is looking to stay a safe bet in the Season 2 meta. Moving on, we've now included Survival Hunter as our sleeper pick for the midseason. And it doesn't matter what bracket you enjoy, Survival is really good. Now, some of you might be asking, wait a second, I never see Survival Hunters, how can they be strong? Well, right now, every single Hunter spec is performing well, with most players probably playing BM simply as a comfort pick. If BM or Marks weren't as good, we would guarantee that everyone would be on the Survival train, which we think they already should be. Survival boasts some of the highest consistent damage in the game, backed up by some of the best tier set bonuses for Season 2, which makes them really scary, especially considering the looming threat of kill shot, which these days seems to hit for half of your health bar. The only elephant in the room is the fact that Survival is widely considered one of the more difficult specs to play in Arena. It is both a melee and ranged DPS, and to truly succeed, players need to know how and when to weave in and out of the fight. But if you're willing to invest your time playing Survival, the payoff is potentially huge, especially if you are a 2v2 fan where they might actually be the strongest DPS in the entire bracket. This gives us our updated predictions for the best specs to main going into the midseason. Demon Hunter is still looking quite strong, especially since the balanced druid nerf seemed to be relatively minor. Because of this, Boomy DH will likely be a solid comp option for the rest of the season, and even if it's not, then Demon Hunter should have no problems in solo shuffle given the current caster fiesta we're experiencing. While they might not be the best option for 2v2, they are still really strong and highly oppressive at lower ratings. Despite its nerfs, we are still also suggesting Sub Rogue as a good spec to main. This one is a bit trickier to justify since as a solo spec, subtlety is noticeably worse, but given that rogues have the endless potential to elevate their teammates, we still suggest Sub is a good spec to main for anyone focused on 3v3 and solo shuffle where we are still projecting a good performance. Overall, the specs we're suggesting are reflective of the fact that casters still seem to be really good. And hey, if c is playing Wizard Cleaves, you know something must be different these days. And speaking of Wizards, last time we had the following suggestions, with Balanced Druids and Destro Warlocks being obvious picks, but just like Melee, we'll be making a few adjustments. Replacing Destro as one of our bets will actually be Demonology. The Warlock class has been on a wild ride this expansion, with the power balance shifting between every spec <clears throat> except for Affliction. Anyway, while we initially forecasted that Destro could overcome its nerfs, that prediction might have been a bit too optimistic. Look, we still think Destro is good, but Demo just seems to be better. 
This spec continues to be an absolute tank inside of Arena, where it is durable into both melee and other casters, getting full benefit of Soul Link for 10% damage reduction on top of passive self-healing. And as the only caster DPS with a strong and reliable MS effect, Demo can really carry the weight in any bracket, even in 2v2, where it is a huge bane for any sub-rogue team. So if you hopped on the Destro train early this season, now might be the time to jump ship. Our next pick as one of the best specs to main is actually Elemental Shaman. In the early season, Ellie was still quite strong, but noticeably worse than the Destro and Balanced Druid Overlords, making it hard to recommend when so many options seem better. Now that weekly class tuning has toned down some of the highest performing specs, we think Elemental is a good investment for the rest of Season 2. One mechanic to look out for is Splintered Elements, which causes the Ellie Shaman to gain up to 60% haste if their AoE Lava Bursts hit 5 targets. As a pop quiz, what two popular specs can guarantee that this interaction always happens? If it wasn't obvious, it's Demo Warlocks and BM Hunters. In 3v3 and Solo Shuffle, Ellie should do quite well in the head-to-head -head against any pet class, and while this might not instantly mean it's the best ranged DPS, it is quite powerful having a soft counter to two of the most common classes. This gives us our new suggestions going into the mid-season. We've decided to keep Balanced Druid as a definitive best spec to main, despite getting some major nerfs to its AoE build and a moderate nerf to its burst damage. Overall, Boomkins continue to have some of the highest agency in Solo Shuffle and can usually bank on winning rounds as long as they reach the second use of Incarnation. Even in 2v2, Boomkins are still surprisingly good and we're keeping them as a good bet for the next few weeks. We've also moved Shadow back down the sleeper position. Honestly, this slot is a bit up for grabs, and Fire Mage, BM Hunter, or even Destro Warlock could have landed here. Just like Survival Hunter, we're putting Shadow in the sleeper position due to its relatively high skill floor. It is certainly strong, but requires more of a long-term investment, and not something that can see instant results. As an added perk though, Shadow continues to be quite strong in double DPS 2v2, so if you want a well-rounded experience, it might be worth picking up. Finally, we have our healers. Last time, these were our suggestions. Once again, we've made a few changes, but this time it's a bit tricky. Right now, the healer meta is relatively stacked. Mistweaver Monks, Resto Druids, Resto Shamans, Preservation Evokers, and Disc Priests are all within striking range of each other. We don't think Disc Priest is bad compared to these other options, but we think the spec has gradually faded, no pun intended. The nerf to Power Word Shield was met with a buff to Atonement, which was then met with some frustration for many players who don't actually like relying on damage-based healing. Disc is definitely a solid A-tier healer, but now there are just better and more appealing options for both 3v3 and Solo Shuffle. As a quick note though, you can still expect Disc to be quite strong in 2v2 due to a continued shift to Atonement-based healing. Taking the spot of Disc Priest as a good healer to main is now Preservation Evoker. There are a lot of comparisons we can draw between both specs. Disc and Preservation are two highly aggressive healers with lots of damage potential and a long list of strong defensive cooldowns. Currently though, it seems like Preservation might just be a better version of Disc when it comes to 3v3 and Solo Shuffle. While it might seem relatively minor, Preservation saw a minor buff to disintegrate damage, adding more value to the energy loop talent and potentially helping with the mana problems that has plagued the spec throughout the expansion. While Disintegrate has a high essence cost, this would be offset by wider access to the 4 set bonus in the coming weeks. This effect grants essence bursts more often, which makes Disintegrate free and allows evokers to regenerate even more mana at no cost. So with this minor shakeup, we have our final list of healers worth investing in for the coming weeks. We've now moved Resto Druid up from its sleeper position to replace Disciplined Priest. Despite some early season woes, Druid is actually looking quite strong, especially considering the scaling effect of its mastery, which will now be easier to itemize given the new crafting system. Once everyone is running around with full gear, we think Resto Druids will have less healing problems. And now, with recent nerfs to Mistweaver Monks, Resto Druid might slowly emerge as the best throughput based healer once again. We're also fairly confident in recommending Restoration Shaman as they have quickly become one of the most dominant healers in every bracket. In a caster-heavy meta, having anti-spellcasting tools is always a valuable asset, and for the first time in a while, it appears that all three Shaman specs are excelling. So if you were waiting for a good moment to reroll Shaman, now is definitely the time. Of course, Mistweaver Monk is still one of the best healers, but now isn't the obvious standout in the Season 2 meta. We would like to hear your thoughts. What specs do you think are the best to main right now in Season 2? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're doing that, be sure to sign up for Skill Capped Infinity Plus before June 21st, so you can get a guaranteed VOD review for every month during your subscription. Which again, is insane value for only a fraction of what you would pay anywhere else. So for a limited time, you can gain access to one of the many features that guarantee you will gain at least 400 rating while actively using SkillCap.com. 
Make sure to visit the exclusive discount links below to get started and get the rating you've always wanted. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this one. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, though, we'd like to thank you all for watching. See you soon.